trying to move out the camera a bit because a lot of comments ask me to. <laughs> Please, can I be further away from your face? <laughs> okay, <laughs> noted. Hi, I'm Claire and welcome back to my YouTube channel. First of all, I had a poll on last week's video where I asked you what you wanted to see this week and I know that you all voted to see me dressed as Ariana Grande for a week but I'm gonna need a little bit more time to get that video finished. I started the challenge, I guess you could call it, and I realized it's not gonna be a true effort unless I get hair extensions. So I'm gonna get some hair extensions and then we're gonna try this again and I'm gonna dress like Ariana Grande for a full week. So today, what I have for you is an announcement slash story time. As you can tell by the title of this video, I am crowdfunding a book. But the story of the Irish Bucket List as a book started almost exactly three years ago. I posted a Vlogmas video in December 2015 where I catalogued myself very subtly going to a meeting with the book publisher, which I say in the video, I'm going to a meeting about a book. And then after the meeting, I filmed myself in my car being like, I have no, uh, no news to share whatsoever. So I've just finished my third meeting there and I have absolutely no news to report whatsoever. No news whatsoever. <coughs> Real subtle stuff. A while later, I post another video where I call my dad with the good news and this video was me announcing that the Irish Bucket List, a series that I have had on YouTube for years, is finally going to be made into a travel book. Oh, Dad, come on. Hello! Hello, Dad! Yes, the Irish Bucket List is actually going to be a book. He wants to... <laughs> Blackwater Press was a small Irish publishing house, family owned and run that had worked with a number of big Irish YouTubers. They had done Makeup Fairies book, they had done two books with Sosumi, and they had done a book most recently before I met them with Sinead Katie, the makeup chair, who I mentioned in my last video as well, if you wanna go check that out. So the book was to be based on my YouTube series called The Irish Bucket List, where I travel around Ireland doing all of the cool things there is to do. We were going to include a 100 different activities in the book. So I had about a year to write the book. One memory sticks out clearly for me around writing this book. When I gave a Thrones location tour on a bus that was bringing us to all the different scenes and locations. And on that bus, I was like, typing my little heart out on my little Chromebook. And then I would get off the bus and shoot footage for my episode that was gonna be going up like in a week or two. So basically, I was totally burning the candle at both ends. While it would be a lie to say like I enjoyed writing a book, writing a book kinda sucks. I was very excited for the final bit of it, the actual book part. The idea had been to release the book just in time for Christmas. I think it was around October, if I recall correctly, that we got the news that the man who ran the publishing agency, that he had actually passed away. Any books that were due to go out that Christmas weren't happening. When I had announced the book first, I'd put up a video on my channel of me calling my dad with the good news. So when I received this news, I had to go then and I created another video where I called my dad with the bad news. So, you know my book was meant to be out next month. I just got word back that they're actually closing down the company. So that's it, uh, no book. <laughs> I remember on that video I got a few comments being like, a typical Clither, making it all about you. And I was like, yeah, typical, like every time my publisher has died, I've made it all about me. Fast forward to 2018, I've sat on this book for like a year and a half. A short enough time ago, I think it was only like two months ago, a man named Phil from a company called Unbound got in touch with me. I'm probably going to explain this wrong. Unbound is like a company in the UK and they make books and they're like a crowdfunding website for books. I should work in marketing. <laughs> Basically, I am going to attempt to launch a crowdfunding campaign for my book. I'd like a coffee table hardback that for each activity has color photos, which is one of the more expensive books <laughs> that you can make. We've set up an unbound crowdfunding page. It works for like Kickstarter. So, you know, if you pledge this much, you will get the product, etc., etc. I know that there were a couple of hundred people that did want to see this book become a reality because they signed up to the mailing list for updates. Here's the update. 
it is happening, it's happening via crowdfunding. I really, really hope that we can make this happen. Worst case scenario, we don't hit the crowdfunding goal and everybody gets refunded. So why not give it a shot, piss in the wind, and see what blows back. Ew. <laughs> The link to my Unbound page, that's very hard to say, is down in the, that is down in the description. The link to my Unbound page is down in the description. Please check it out. If you can at all, please pledge. If you just want to support the book but you don't want a copy of it, we do have like a one euro tier. Tiers that, you know, you get signed copies of the book or you get two copies of the book, you get an audio book or you get, you know, an e-book. It will happen in all forms for all senses if we hit our targets. I want to say a quick thank you to everyone who has really supported the new type of content that I'm putting out. Um, I'm really enjoying making it. I'm really enjoying being on YouTube again. Another poll to see what you want to see next week. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye, bye-bye, bye, bye-bye, bye, bye. By the way, there's a good chance that I may have forgotten information in this video. If I've forgotten any important information, it'll be in the first comment pinned down below. I am professional like that. Okay, bye.